What is up guys, Major Magpie here and welcome back to another Spin Tires mod. This is part 4 of our custom map that we're currently exploring, which is Teha. Uh, and this here is the Land Crawler by an author called Stetson. Pretty nice job of it. Looks pretty awesome, it's got a nice in-cam view as well. Uh, I don't believe it's based on any particular vehicle. Is it just a customized one? Like a, a Land Rover or something, I don't know. Uh, this speculation on this thing would be that it would be pushing a little V8. It's got nine forward speeds, one including plus one, whatever that means. Uh, chassis back up and has a front narrowed and has been given a full width fabricated axle housing. 44 inch boggers. And yeah, it's pretty nice. The sun is about to go down. Uh, I was figuring we can just drive on to the garage up here. We've pretty much uncovered all of the map. We've got one last cloaking to do and one more vehicle to discover. This thing up here, the C6522. Uh, so I figured we could do this with this little beast here, if it's up to the task. Uh, it is a land crawler, so it is designed to pretty much conquer anything. That's how I would interpret that anyways. Handbrake off. We've got very little fuel we need to get to the garage, like yesterday, so... Um, yeah, that's flat out. That's as fast as this thing goes. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, wait there. No, found another gear. Yeah, nothing is going to stop this. This is an absolute animal. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that looks awesome. If I could say anything. It's got some cool little bucket seats in this as well. Look at that. Lights. That's a shame the little spotlights don't work as well. Fog lights or whatever you want to call them. Right, let's get back on this road. Uh, turn left. And head on up to the garage. Uh, see what instalments or add-ons we can get for this particular vehicle. Uh, and then call it a day in terms of nighttime driving. Wait for daylight to come around and then try and do the rest of this map. Whatever else it is we want to do. Uncloak in and vehicle find it. It's quite a nimble little vehicle this. It's uh that's quite nice. It's fun of the hills. There is the garage there. <laughs> right, so we've made it. Just about enough fuel. How much will it give us here? Wow. Yeah, we might have to find some fuel. I don't think we're going to have enough to do. I thought I'm about to get some fuel first. But, you know what it is? I'm just going to have a go. I've got a beer cooler. I like this guy's taste. That's uh, get your priorities right and all that. <laughs> Sorted. 150 repair points. Yeah. It looks pretty nice, this thing, doesn't it? Right, let's just say the night through then. Okay guys, so the sun is about to come up soon. 
Uh, I figured I would get would get a little bit of a head start on it. So lights, let's get the engine started. Uh, we have our via cooler on the back that gives us 150 uh, repair points, and if we want a fuel station, it will probably give us about the same in fuel. Just speculating. Uh, yeah, let's take our modified Land Rover to an objective then. I was thinking we could head uh, this bridge that bears off to the left there. I just spin round to face the direction that we are. There's a bridge that heads off to the left there, follow it down the hill, round. And that little track there, head up through the lumberyard, I imagine, and it heads up to the cloak. That's the theory. Uh, so, yeah, let's go on in the hope and kind of pray that it does head that way. Ah, this thing does not want to drive fast. <laughs> It will literally conquer anything, however. Mm, the gear issues feel a little wrong. I don't know why it seems to go sluggish all of a sudden. Um, you know, we have blast off! <laughs> Let's make some mess. There, I can see the track bears off to the right there. Let's follow it. The sun's coming up. We're going to get the most of the day now. The idea is to get the last cloaking point and go and uh, locate the last vehicle as well. Uh, and then after this episode, I'll decide which vehicle I want to use to try and do our objective and which route we are going to take to do our objective. Yard. So whatever we decide, this is where we're coming to collect our lumber. Ah. <laughs> right, okay, okay, where are we then? So we are here. I'm hoping that this heads to the cloak point. The other issue we do have with this vehicle is fuel. It's yeah, we don't get much fuel. So the branches are not going to be much of an obstacle for this thing. This is a land crawler! <laughs> uh, fighting another gear, however, is an issue for this thing. I mean, this is flat out. So I'm going to leave it in automatic. When we get on the level terrain, it does eventually take off. When we go downhill, it loves to take off. When we're going uphill, it literally is a crawler. It's exactly what the name says it is. It is a crawler. A land crawler. Well, at least these trees are not going to be an obstacle for this thing. It will just mount them, cross them, and move on. 56 damage for that! Right, at least we've found some sort of speed now, though. Give it a little bit more land. is not going to feature very well in water. That looks good. So hopefully this will not get much deeper. Because otherwise we're going to sink! Okay. Where does this road head? Point apparently is down that way. Let's have a look. Come on, 
find another gear. <laughs> this thing, uh, it's not a fan of deep water at all. Oh, wait, just water. Still in the wrong place. It's over that way. Let me, let me across here. This is more frustrating than the last vehicle we drove. The fact that it only has two gears, slow and bloody stop at half the time. Okay, so that little point will be around here somewhere. It's in the right direction. And if this thing ever finds the next gear, we could probably get there today. It's the thing on this one, it is either fast or stupidly slow. There's no like in between. It'd be nice if it actually made its way through the gears and just do but it did what it's doing now. Eating up the truck. Slightly annoying. Where does this go? This is a road that we've never taken yet. We're about to come back to the road that we have taken. So I'm guessing our cloaking point is up here. I think we're probably gonna be doing this speed up all the way up. But hopefully Easy work up this hill. Ah, how steep that's gone. Hmm. Let me at this. That is uh, it's pretty vertical. Moment of truth. There is a cloaking point up there. I can see it. Will this thing make it? <laughs> it's doing all right. This crawling gear is good for swimming, if nothing else. It's uh, it is dragging its little keister up this hill. Look at that! <laughs> no issues at all. Just yeah, I'm gonna do this. Do it this way. We're gonna drive slow, but we're gonna get there. Any other vehicle we were probably getting stuck on there, it would have been a winch job. This, however, not so much. Right, so we have got a fully unlocked map. Now we need to go and locate this next vehicle. Let's have a look then. It's over here. We are. Yeah, we need to get back on this truck yeah, and follow it around. So I need to turn around and go back down the hill we've just come up. Quite a neat turning circle on this as well, it's quite narrow, quite small and nimble. Done it. Downhill that allow us to get some momentum hopefully. Get up in a like, you know, second or third gear. So 
this is a junction. We are. Uh, where are we? Where are we? Red arrow, right? We're there. We need to go either right or left. It makes no difference. We're gonna go to the way to our left. We wanna go so to the left, then right, then left. Is that right? Right, right, left. no, right and right. Right. <laughs> okay, so left, right, right, right. That's what I'm talking about, look at that. Oh, water. Not a problem. No more water. Not a problem. Yeah, It is a nice mod, this. Do. I do like it. The only frustrating point I've got to say is the gears. I find it incredibly annoying. Uh, it just... I don't know, it's like gear 0.5 no and then gear 2.5, there's no in-between. That's what it feels like. So you've kind of got to get to the top of your 0.5 no gear and then find a little bit of extra momentum to roll onto one. Uh, before you can find the next gear, and it's a little bit annoying. Nothing a little tweak can't fix, I suppose. I think what makes it more so annoying is that every time it comes across any of the obstacles, so you know, if you hit a bit of harsh land, which you know, it's spin tires, I mean, the, the level is designed with mud. <laughs> so every time you hit some mud, you know. The whole vehicle, it's just like, you know, you know what it is, we're gonna do gear 0.5, it seems like a good idea. It's quite annoying, it is. Only downside to the, to the mod, like I say. But other than that, it is a sexy little thing. Oh, right, that's our next one, that's our third or second right, I'm not sure. Another hill, being the last hill up, so it's gonna make absolute mince meat of this hill. Not a problem. It will be slow, but it will do it. <laughs> That's the, the Triton beast. I don't get where we are then. We are here. Head up this hill that we're on now, that'll take us round to our vehicle, so let's do that. <laughs> Just like what hill? There was a hill back there? Really? I don't think they could have picked a, a better name than Land Crawler. I think it's a very well suited name. The fact that unless you go downhill, you are crawling. Come on, we're almost on level land now, we can get some sort of momentum. There we go, 
look at that! Now this is not a vehicle that I put in here. Former Kamaz, that is pretty awesome. I think we're going to use, be using that for our login. Seems perfect. Get at the garage and hope you can get some decent add-ons for that, but that does look awesome. But yeah, anyways guys, until the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one.